All right, so before we put gasket maker on here and stick it on, you want to do some test fitting. You want to make sure you can lift this into place and set it on the engine without anything on it. Um, because the last thing you want to do is put the gasket material on, try to stick it on, something doesn't fit, something um, is blocking your path, etc. So you want to do a dry fit, make sure um, it fits. There's guide pins here, there's one here, there's one over here. Um, that will kind of help you get it on there. But the uh, reason I mention that is because you only have three minutes after you put the um, gasket material on. So here's my template I made. This basically outlines the cover. Colors in black are the first torque sequence. So the larger bolts, these are 10 millimeter thickness or width or whatever, and then the smaller ones are eight. So what has to happen here, um, <clears throat> let's spin this around again. So obviously the most critical part is down here, because this is where the oil level sits. So my plan of attack here is to probably do this part first, and then come down here. And then do this, and then do this portion, and then I'll do the bottom last. Because um, directions say you only have three minutes to get the gasket material on, and then stick this thing on the engine, and then start tightening the bolts down. And then you have to have everything torqued within ten minutes. So I'm going to have two torque wrenches probably ready. You'll see the first sequence is here, uh, 35 foot-pounds, then... You stick on the tensioner temporarily, and then you do the rest of them at 17 foot-pounds. And then once, once that's done, you just wipe off any excess. The A spot is where the uh, water pipe bypass sticks, so they're telling you to wipe off any excess that seeps out. And then once that's done, uh, they say don't fill it with oil uh, at least two hours. I'll probably let it sit overnight before I do anything, and then fill it with oil and then start it up. So here's my template over here, <clears throat> like I was mentioning earlier. The black uh, numbers are my first sequence, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So once that's on, I'm going to go to the blue sequence, that's number two. So here again, you have the numbered one, uh, I don't know, oh here's two. So it might be good to kind of go over this first, three, I'm just blind, I don't know where 4 is, oh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. So I'll probably have, um, you know, like I said, two torque wrenches ready, and uh, air, air tools to get them secured quickly, and I uh, hope that all goes well. So that's it for the timing cover. I don't think there's anything else to cover here. Aside from, uh, yeah, those inspection holes like I mentioned. So if you're curious about your chain or any wear, just pull that bolt off. That's not that hard. And then peek in there or stick a boroscope in there or your camera phone or whatever. And kind of see how yours compares with, uh, you know, is yours two finger widths? That might be uh, time to get in there and replace some components. Um, but I did some measurements. Oh, that was another thing I could cover. Um, there's some measurements that um, they say to do. Let me see if I can find parts here. So Toyota directions say to measure 15 pins. And if you count from pink to pink, it's actually 16. And then you take your caliper and measure the distance. Uh, from here to here, and if it exceeds, I think, 136 millimeters. Uh, mine were at 140, so they were out of spec. Uh, so Toyota definitely recommends not putting this back in the car. And then you can check the wear of this unit by putting it on the chain like so. And same thing. Caliper this way. And 60.4 millimeters is the spec, and mine's right at that, so this had to be replaced anyways. Um, so, and you also, it says to put some force, like pull it a little bit and then measure it just to make sure. 
But uh, yeah, all this stuff <clears throat> at 125,000. Again, th this is just assuming you're taking everything apart anyways to replace. Um, it's not saying, I mean, because obviously you wouldn't know the spec until you took it all apart anyways. And the tensioners have quite a bit of room here to expand, you know, as long as they're not going to push this into the next chain. You know, that's about a finger width between this chain and the other chain. And same with right here, you know, the tensioner can move this a little bit more this way, but once you get starting too close, you probably want to look at uh, replacing everything. So that's it. I'll get the cover on. I've torqued my bolts. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Just put the valve covers on, and that's it. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll answer them. Thanks.